I think the message is that I come from a family myself, a very big family, 12 children, seven boys and five girls. And uh, I lived in an extended family sort of environment. And uh, I am who I am, thanks a lot to the family. So I'd like to say first and foremost, the family is a gift from God. And it's a gift that we all have to learn to appreciate. You know, the family has its uh, checks and balances, you know, strengths and weaknesses. But I think the most important thing is that it is a place where we learn to love and be loved. We learn to support and be supported. We learn to make mistakes, to be corrected, and to correct others, you know. It is a place that, sh that gives hope. And uh, we learn to grow, I think. I must be honest with you, we, it's beautiful to see what we call the communion of, you know, um, experiences. Because listening to a lot of the lay people who have been talking to us, listening to my brother bishops, you know, and uh, the, the cardinals, it shows that the family is the same, whether it is in Asia or in Latin America or in Amer you know, North America or in Europe or in Africa. It's the same unit. And that all of us have this sense of, let us see how to appreciate what the family has as positive. Let us um, emphasize that. And at the same time, let us you know, set out to listen, especially to families, to husbands, to wives, to children of families, in order to know the challenges they're going through and to be able to help them. It is easier for us to make up, to think we know. That is why this first part is supposed to be listening. We have listened for almost a whole year to various experiences between the last extraordinary synod and you know, this one. And now we are here to listen to one another so that what has been collected, not just what is on the Instrumentum Laboris, you know, what has been collected is either to corroborate what is there in the Instrumentum Laboris, enrich it so that we can share more with one another. So, so far it's been a very good experience of, you know, give and take, unity of purpose, communion in our experiences. And all of us are talking about the family as a foundation of hope for humanity.